Okay, keep in mind this position and regular and uh, go to that a great find. Now the North Pole. Now remember, I've told you right old uh, Proxima Centauri and Alpha Centauri is the closest stars that we have to the Sun. Remember, Cyrus is really bright. It's just the brightest known. Uh, when we can see uh, Rigel Contreras uh, down here on Earth on the South Pole, uh, kind of blows out of the water a little bit. But anyway, the actual factual. Just remember that Alpha Centauri is the closest that we know of right now to the Sun. Okay. Okay, we're going to be watching our object right here that is been around by Earth and you're going to be able to keep an eye on this thing because of the size of it, okay? And then basically hit play here. And that's what we got going on up by Neptune, okay? Because basically I don't have it right now, but in the future I'm going to show you the same shot and we've got uh, Uranus here. This is Neptune. This is what we got going on up by Neptune there. We'll pump up the Hunter real fast. I gotta hurry up and get over and show you what's going on in Saturn. Okay. So this is the actual factual here. But that's the energy that we're getting there. So we've got a hyperbolic star there, because remember these are 24 hours. And um only one that pretty much got a lot of hyperbolic stars right now. I mean, at least in what I was doing to search on. This is what you got the footage there. Remember, this is our object that's close, been close by. It's going away with perfectly safe. This is probably our object that rotates around the sun um, within a certain amount of days, maybe a couple months or something like that. So anyway, no matter what, we've got this energy hyperbolic up by Neptune. Okay, so now I gotta get you over to, okay. This is what we've got from H1, okay? Earth, Mercury, Saturn, okay? But no matter what, we still have this right there, and this right here. Now, very important, I'm gonna give you a beautiful shot of this here. And no matter what, this is this, and this is this, and this is Saturn. That's Saturn. This is a zoomed in shot. This is zoomed out. And this is zoomed in. Okay. Now, the factual is that this is this. And this and this is this. And that's this. That's magnetically tied to this. Okay, now I gotta get to that footage. And that object is that right there. Now what they do is they scroll down because they also have a shot. I'm gonna be able to show you that they scroll down to take a look at the back lighting. Basically they're opening up the shade, the shade screen, the coloring on all their shots. Now this is what's astounding here is what's we got a hyperbolic star up by Saturn. And this is on the 27th. I'm going to blow in on this. What I need to do is freeze this. I'm going to get in on our star. Basically, that's a planet. That's not a star. That's a planet. Okay, that's a planet. This is our shot. That's Saturn. This is electrical activity coming off this hyperbolic star right there. I'm going to have footage on that in a minute. We'll get over here to our planet that we end up seeing because it's, we get just the right coloring, just the perfectness pop up to 999 then we come up on our object boom there it is and then we'll get the zoom out remember this is magnetically connected so this is a planet okay that's a planet okay boom 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 real good look at it it's a flipping planet okay Okay, how do we get out of that? 
Boom. Come on. Boom. So you know that that's where we're at. Boom. Now we'll get to... Okay. And that was that right there. And that's mechanically tied. And you'll be able to see it. I.E. That is this here. It is magnetically tied to this. I.E. Magnetically tied to this is this, and that's what you were just looking at was this right here. That's how much they can zoom in. Pretty killer, huh? So, and this is Saturn right here. Now we gotta go look at what's going on in Saturn. And yep, this is all real, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you were looking at that, and that's that. And it's magnetically tied to that right there. Okay, I've been showing you for quite a while now. Let's get ourselves up to Saturn and take a look. Alright, that's those shots there. Okay. And basically, factually, that's our object there that we were zoomed in on. Which is, like I say, it's that object there. And magnetically connected to that there. And it's that right there, connected to that. And that's what we were looking at, was that, which is that. And now let's go look at Saturn, which is that right there, and that's Saturn. So anyway, I'm going to put my name on this hyperbolic star, because no matter what, this thing is there. I'm going to be calling it by whatever I want to call it here. I'm going to come up with a name here pretty soon, and because this thing, that's Saturn right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm going to go down and hit play. You know the shot we're at right there. We're at that right there, and I'll, leave, I'll get it out of there in a little bit. Boom, we hit play, and come back up. Boom, same footage. It's done 24 hours because it's a hyperbolic and it, it does this action here. Now this is static electrical and it's doing that to right there, to all that there. But this looks the best right here if you just look at it like this. And we're going to watch this for a few minutes. Now that is Saturn, okay? That is flipping Saturn right there. This hyperbolic star is right there. And what I mean right there, it's right there, okay? That's it right there comes around and does this big old flash, okay? Now when they're farther away on the blue shots, it's getting hidden behind the solar panel. It has to because of the bright lightness and bright flash. Now the CME action is coming in from the sun to the right. I gotta get the magnifier out and give you a better look at that hyperbolic star right there. This is not gonna look any better. This is awesome the way it is. This is electrical energy that comes off of this flash right here. The brightness on this side does this. It's electrically does that all the time. Just like the CME action off the sun comes out and throws this out. Well, that hyperbolic star is doing that right there to all those stars and planetoid objects and everything that are all scattered millions of miles out there. Okay? This thing's probably a good, well, one and a half IU away from Saturn there. Okay, massive distance, okay. And remember, there's a whole one IU from Earth to the Sun that's way the hell over there. So this is how massive the distances are. So, here we go. There's Saturn right there. Okay, can't miss Saturn. And then we get over to the left. And we get down to a hyperbolic star. And that's it. Upper high, like I said, it was. Getting, I told you it was getting high on Saturn, and it is. So this thing might be moving, not sure. I would say it's going to stay in its location because it's a hyperbolic star. It's a star, it's going to stay there now. Could it fall out? Yeah. And we'll keep getting in on this thing. And that's it. It goes black in the center. Light curvature, you got to remember that though. And that is what is bringing all that energy. It's basically an arc welder, okay? This is an arc welder right there. And yep, if I can get the magnifier moved over. Sorry about that. Yeah, doing that to me earlier. So that's it. It's a hyperbolic star up there. And you have a massive amount of energy that's thrown off. Okay, so 
near Saturn. Because it'll go back and the footage will come out. That's Saturn right there. The big blob. And then that's what this hyperbolic star is closest to. Okay, so we're gonna give you a little bit of information. So now I can pull me. So it's doing and giving all this energy down here, just like an arc welder. It's just like scraping an arc, a welding stick across a piece of steel, across all of these planetoid objects or stars. And it's just bling, bling, bling in the hell out of all this stuff down here. See this? Massive distance. I was thinking we had a planetoid object doing a CME reactor flare to a, to a CME off the sun from over here. No, it's this sun here. It's a hyperbolic star up by Saturn. Okay. So, actual factual. And then remember what I found at Neptune up there to the right. Okay. So, we'll get off on size on this. Boom. And remember, that's our, our planet that we found right there. Now let me take you to some footage of the 27th, okay? And you're going to get it where... And actually I get it right here too, so hang on. You see the star that's way the hell up above this? Okay, this is magnetically tied to this, which I do think this is a planet also. I think that is a planet there. But there's a star way the hell up there, okay? And then it's that close to the sun. Well, you're looking wise at it, okay? So we got distances we're going to end up studying. And, you know, Barnhard star, Alpha Centauri, AB, okay? A and B. Then factual, they, they're, they pull on the lens down to be able to see this stuff. This is a planetoid object that's right flipping there. It is in our solar system. It shows the connection of stars, whatever star is way the hell up there, magnetically connected to the sun here, bling, bling, bling. And then this hyperbolic star that's up over here by Saturn, which is that right there. Okay, so actual, factual, hitting you right between the eyeballs with the facts that we have a planetoid object right there. Okay. And it's magnetically collect, connected to whatever this, almost like a Jupiter or something like that, of whatever star that is over there. So this planet is up higher in that solar system, and this is down lower. Remember, we're in the Milky Way galaxy, so we're in that swirl, that milk, milkshake swirl, okay? So the actual factual sun's over here to the right, and then this drawdown of the curtain of the colorization, they could see up and see that star there. So now we got to get distances on some of this stuff. Remember, when you're looking at this here, okay, which I had here, okay, that there, that there is, I'm going to show you where this is on and show you where this is on those man, on those other shots. Okay, now, the big blob is that right there that we were looking at just a minute ago, and it's that there. They draw the curtain down and they could see the star that's way the hell up here, okay? Way the hell up here. So far away that... This probably gets more electrical energy off of our sun and is probably more in our solar system than it is, but it's you can see that it's statically electrically tied to whatever star that is way the hell up there. Okay? Way the heck up there. Okay? This is this right here, which is absolutely this right here. And then I showed you with the curtain down, back the video up. It's this right here, and this is more than likely a planetoid object, not a sun. But then again, maybe it is a sun and it's just magnetic. This is a planet that's magnetically connected. So then this orbits around, what, 25 years or something like that? And we do know that there's stuff that orbits around 25 years of planets. And then also Alpha Centauri AB. Alpha Centauri A and B and Alpha BB. Alpha Centauri BB is a planetoid object, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, that's not that damn far away. Now remember, this is what we had up here where we have the hyperbolic star by Saturn. Venus has got a really st big stat at the same time as the star bling bling. Venus, Mars, bling bling. Venus, bling bling with this and the sun. Pretty killer, huh? Check this out. Morning's finest tomorrow.